I gotta ask you, because nowadays it's like more of um, what gets you on, you know what I'm saying? Because you gotta be, to be a rapper now, and to be, seems to seem like to be successful to be a rapper, you would have to be like a big nigga from your hood, you gotta be a drug dealer, you gotta have a body, or you gotta have just a bunch of clout, you know what I'm saying? Or a bunch of bitches, you know what I'm saying? So just seeing that, like, how do you feel, like, as far as Minnesota music, how does that go hand in hand as far as people buying into you, you know? How'd you, how'd you, how'd you get your first recognition as far as people just buying into your music, you know? Honestly, and listen, Y'all tell me when y'all catch me lying anywhere, comment on the video. Everybody comment, comment, share, what the fuck. Tell everybody that that boy is lying and then the rest of y'all will come back and tell it. But everybody fucked with my music right away because everything I spilled was real and I really did it. All of the first shit, if you go listen to my hang with me, they gonna hate me. My anything you hear me spitting, everybody like, damn, did you not only do shorty got bars. Do you remember that? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Do you remember that? Like, and then on top of that, like, I wasn't never no goofy. Like, I'm one nigga that that's a, that's one thing I can say. God bless me with that. I'm I, I knew everybody before anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you had a good follower. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, right away when I when I grew up as a kid, I ain't I fucked with nigga. I was a street kid. I was in every hood. I'm seeing the first of everything. I'm I'm talking about. The, you know what I'm saying? In the beginning, of the CLB East Side, all of this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little ass kid in the middle of this shit, but everybody already knew me. The older niggas, everybody. Hey, Lamarcus, Lamar, oh damn, you see Marcus? I'm meeting motherfuckers. They like, you Marcus? You Marcus? I'm... This is before I even rapped anything, just off the shorty I was coming up in Minnesota. He's coming up. Any, you know what I'm saying? Anything I was doing, motherfucker. Like, Lamar, you talking about? That's Lamar. Oh, they go Lamar. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, and yeah, when I first came, motherfuckers calling me Little Chicago. I was a little ass kid. Motherfuckers, everybody, that's Chicago right there. Chicago, Chicago right there. Because they already knew I was GP. Like, shorty from Chicago. Shorty ass with that shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I used to think, like, these, a lot of niggas just, I don't know, just follow us. In the year 2021, you know, the music's changed. You know, the, the feelings change. Chicago does have a big influence on the music industry right now. And a lot of people are, you know, dissing the dead, smoking your homie. You know, that's that's a real popular thing to rap about, you know. So is that something you partake in? Do you, you know, how do you feel about that? I feel like <clears throat> shit. It just is what it is at this point. Like, certain motherfuckers gonna do that shit, but it is what it is, man. Honestly, I ain't gonna say certain motherfuckers gonna do that shit. It is. It just is what it is. Because so a motherfucker gonna say they smoking your homie or doing this to your homie. Even if you is a motherfucker that don't do this, this you gotta understand. This you could be a motherfucker that never did this before. This motherfuckers just happened to even hit this shit for the first time. You know what I'm saying? But this is what's going on. A motherfucker, if your homie get killed by somebody that's opposing to you or some shit like that. You expect them these niggas to say, "Oh yeah, we smoking your homie. Oh yeah, we doing." So it ain't even music. It's, it comes from the streets because it's just it's how both. You, it's how you feel like it. It's if both. Cause it's which music you listening to. <laughs> but I mean, if your music is a reflection of how you feel and it's all honesty, it's just something you would say anyway. We just, we, you know, we just put it in music. You know what I'm saying? Right, so but if I'm making, but this is the thing. If I'm making a pop song, you're not gonna hear me singing like, yeah, I'm smoking you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it depends on what music you listening to because it's hip hop music that's not even street, but if you listen to street music or it's anything to do with the streets or pertain to the streets, that's what you're gonna hear. Yeah, of course you're gonna hear. Expect to hear. Yeah, you got you got to be expecting to hear some shit about that, like, or right. even if and, and what's the difference? Even if and that's what motherfuckers make it a big deal. What's the difference? I'm smoking your homie, or we killed your homie, or like you know what I'm saying? Or what's the difference? Even in you making your homie name a a, a group, right. you feel me? Shit, that's all disrespectful fake way in the end, you know what I'm saying? You can shout your homie out or whatever, but you making your homie name a group and you post and you talking about rest in peace. All this shit fake backwards. It's all <laughs> shit so so it really just be 
I don't know, man. Everybody gonna, motherfuckers gonna say they smoke a motherfuckers forever, man. It's already yeah. on. Okay, so yeah, I know a lot of you. I know a lot of your catalog, and uh, for the people, for the people that don't know, I know you. You know, you say man, man a lot. You know what I'm saying? Your music, and yes, uh, just elaborate on who is that? That's Levante Robin. <laughs> Both my little brother. See, he ain't my motherfucking mama or my daddy son, but he my blood brother, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, um, shit, yeah, that's my, that's my dog. Shit, he, <clears throat> and he passed away? Yeah. Can you, uh, can you explain? Can you talk shit. about the situation? Um, I mean, I don't really, I don't Talk about that shit, really, though. That shit is something I don't really even talk about. Right, I understand. You know, I don't really talk about the situation, though. Shit, really, nobody out. You know, so I can tell you how I feel about it and all that, but I ain't really, that shit ain't no newspaper shit, you know, that's like, I might as well just recorded a video um, or, you know what I'm saying, whatever. <clears throat> but his name is Levante Brock, so, you know, if you feel like, you know, you're gonna look up anything about him or figure out who he is, shit, you can look him up. <clears throat> so, you know, you just being a musician, have you, it seems like, you know what I'm saying, like you not want to talk about it, it is near and dear to you, you know what I'm saying, so how does that affect you, just losing friends and just being an artist? Shit, you know, that shit fucked up, but it is, it's this, this is this shit, like, right? it's the streets too, like, you know? Right. It's, it is what we is, or whatever we got going on, it's a part of it. it ain't, I ain't gonna say it is what we is, but it's a part of it. Did you lose a lot of friends growing up? Hell yeah. <clears throat> I lost. How many? Roughly. Shit. Hell yeah, over, overly, like, shit, overly more than friends than first group, you know? Right. Like I could say. Um, but, yeah, I lost a lot of friends, like, a lot of family, too, so shit, you know? I look at shit, the friends that I got, they is family, too, so that shit is, like, all the same for me. A lot of they ass died, though, more than 20. What, 20 friends? I'm pretty sure, yeah. That man, Was it all they, uh, shit, man, you, Shit, man, man, I said man, man, already on tree. You wanna say, motherfucking Yak, motherfucking uh, Lexi, motherfucking J Dot, motherfucking Jordan, motherfucking um, let me see, JoJo, Billy, motherfucking uh, <laughs> shit. I can just keep on going, shit. It's a dare, motherfucking um, uh, you know what I'm saying? I can just keep going, but just you know what I'm saying? If I could deny, I bring back man, man, Yak, Davi, Poppy, Jordan, Dad, Nunu, all in the same day. Turn around and bring back John John Donna and Frankie Lucky Chucky and my homegirl Rochelle all in there. You see what I'm saying? Like, this shit deeper than, you know what I'm saying? I got this, you know what I'm saying? I can't even, I don't know, you know what I mean? I get, I get crazy thing is, I get crazy feedback about who I'm not saying in the song. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, why you ain't saying bro name in the song? Damn, bro don't be saying bro name. Like, it should be crazy, bro. Right, it's hard to even talk about it, especially you know what I'm saying? it's real. Yeah, like, like that should be love, crazy. Like, we don't love so much in this shit. It's just, I, I feel it. And that ain't just what I only want to be rapping about. You know what I'm saying? It's hard like, not to rap about it. The pain music right now is the music that's going because people are scared to put that pain in it. You know what I'm saying? Because that pain is, is real. But the pain music, the wave of people, that's why a lot of artists is switching their flows up and they. They sang in is it's easier to listen to, you know what yeah. I'm saying? For women, Everybody, for yeah. old folks, you know what I'm saying? For white people, you know what I'm saying? Being a rapper, but niggas ain't even rappers no more. They like <laughs> singers, singers, you know what I'm saying? Real Just shit. because it's easier to promote and it's real pain music. So, you know, I commend you on just, you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> being able to take it that far. And a lot of the pain music though, like this was crazy though. That's, that's the way for hip hop to kind of make 
I don't want to say positive music, but it is positive because that's one of the ways for them to say not as many curse words and not as much profanity right, or not saying. talk about a girl in a, you know what I'm saying, a profound way or something like. <laughs> it's crazy when you look at the like psychology of this shit because it's like, man, this shit fucked up, bro. But this is this is what we got. This is you know. What I'm